Hello, everyone. Welcome to KK's Quilt Studio. Hey, today we're going to talk about getting back up and running when you've uh, been working and needed to shut down for one reason or another. Um, and how do you get started back up uh, together again? How do you get lined up? So this is a picture of a quite a large king size quilt that I'm working on. And um, I am about two thirds of the way done and closed down for the day yesterday and want to get back up and running this morning. So um, I've gone ahead, advanced my quilt. You see that the top row up there closest to the dead bar is where um, I finished quilting yesterday. So I rolled my quilt top up and went ahead and cleaned my machine and oiled it this morning. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get my uh, design loaded back up and let's get this baby finished. So um, if I go over here, I've located a position on the quilt top where I want to start. So this is kind of a, a swoosh or a leaf or something. And I have turned on my laser pointer and uh, gotten located so that laser point is right on the point of that leaf. I find that um, points or cross stitch crossing points are the easiest to line up with to get going again. So let's get over into Qmatic and you'll see that I've set my safe area. Like I said, I've already cleaned my machine. I'm ready to get up and running. Always, always, always when you set up a new project, be sure to save it. And before you shut down, be sure to save it. Can uh, save a lot of sweat and tears. And here's the name of my project. I'm gonna open it back up again. And you'll see that my uh, machine is located up here in the top corner. Well, that's kind of right, but um, my design isn't lined up. So I need to bring uh, my first row, second row. You notice that I said this was a king size quilt. I don't usually load more than uh, four rows of a design. It, it really isn't necessary. I This is how I do it. Um, if I can work from these two rows I usually will. This design is not very dense, so I don't have a lot of shrinkage of quilts. So to cut all these rows really isn't necessary. I'll use these last two rows probably for alignment uh, when I get to the bottom of the quilt and do some uh, trimming off of these last two rows. But for the most part, I've been able to do this whole quilt with these two trimmed rows. But this is about getting lined up and started again. So there, remember, is where my uh, machine head is located in reference to uh, my safe area and where everything is. But I want to get going on this second row here. So let's go to this button here and if you have a question about which button is which which is name this little blue eye for information button is up here something new that's been added in the latest update and you'll see that now i have a text rather than a picture icon so this is the button that i want to use realign safe area and if I click it again, there's what it looks like when uh, I first open up my program. So that's what the little icon looks like. So it's in the second row, the third button over. And I'm going to click on that. Okay, now what to do here? Well, here's another little blue circle. 
And that information is uh, going to explain how this tool is used. All of the tools um, on the tool panel, tool center, have this little um, onboard guide, if you will, of how to use the tool. And we're going to be using this repositioning the safe area using snapped point. So um, I'm going to first set a guideline and here is my needle again. When I click that button, you'll see there is a vertical red line that appears to uh, align with the rest of the quilt as to where my machine is going to be. So I'm going to snap to point and then I'm gonna come back over here and I'm using a mouse. So on my roller wheel, I'm going to roll forward and zoom in just a tad so I can see just a little bit better. And I am going to be lining up. You see, here's my first design. I am actually right down here on that part of the design. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to roll in just a little bit more. And that looks like, hmm, that was pretty good. I am right on the point that I want to line up with. And that coincides with the picture that I showed earlier, the spot on my quilt where I want to align my pattern. I'm not going to start here. I've already stitched this, but I want to bring up any designs down below to uh, get my start point in line. So I want to tell my computer, Qmatic, that I'm not way up here at the top somewhere. I'm actually here on this point. So I've located that. If you need to, you know, if this was the point you were aligning to, you can click there as well and it will move over. But I am right on that point. It all looks good. So I'm going to go back here and snap on there again, and then just click the green check mark. Okay. And looks like I'm ready to go. Looks like I could be actually a little, little more on point. So let's put that in there. Try it one more time. Okay. That looks good. I'm right in there. So now if you want to just zoom back out, you'll see that my safe area has realigned. Keep backing out. Or you could just click here. Zoom in just a little bit more. And see, now I'm down here to the bottom of the design. I'm ready to start stitching this row. And I probably will go here to the edge of my quilt, drag my machine from one side to the other, make sure that my edges are still aligned, that I haven't had too much quilt shrinkage. But when I push the play button, my machine head will move down here and begin to stitch out this row. Now you'll say, well, my mine doesn't look like this. I usually stitch from left to right. Well, I usually stitch right to left. Because my computer is over here on the right side of my quilt, and I like to make sure that I'm aligned, so usually I'm stitching right to left. And you can change that just by swapping out your start and end points. So I hope you've enjoyed how I get restarted, and I hope that you'll be able to get restarted on your quilting uh, when you have stopped for the day and want to realign it, or if you have a power outage or something, this is how I get started back up. Just always, always, always remember before you stop for the day, always go down here and say save and save your project. Always do that before shutting down. It is imperative. If you need a reminder, put a little sticky on your computer for the off button and say, did you back up? That just serves as a reminder. 
So after I've set up my initial uh, quilting design, I save the project. And then before I shut down for the evening, save the project. Always get in that habit and you will have happy quilting. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.